Growers and agronomists are all too aware of the threats to their cereal crop yields from competitive grass weeds. With higher input costs and softening commodity prices, it's become ever more important for growers this season to maximise their yields. I'm here at NIA to catch up with John Cousins to discuss our germination timing trial. And I started by asking John about last season's results. Well, it was a lovely trial to do, you know, quite unique to have all those different grass weed species in the same field, in the same crop, under the same conditions, and be able to measure their biomass, competitivity, and seed return. I think the first thing, if we just step back a little bit, is, is to just measure seed return and biomass for this whole load of different species under the same conditions. And we can see, for example, that the Italian ryegrass produced twice as much seed, um, the wild oats had about three or four times as much biomass as something like black grass. So some nice basic data telling us how competitive some of these other grass weeds are and telling us uh, relative seed return for them. In terms of the germination timing and the biomass and the seed return, for example, individual plants which emerged two or three months after that crop was drilled were about four or five times smaller than the individuals that emerge with the crop. When you go through into the spring, into that sort of February, March set of emerging weeds, we've got 10 to 20 times reduction in the number of seed return and biomass. So that really helps us think about focusing on what weeds do we want to control, both from a crop competition point of view, but I think more importantly from the potential seed return. And so it's fair to say that looking at those early germinators are the ones that germinated with the crop, they were obviously producing the biggest bio, amount of biomass and therefore are going to be the biggest competition to the commercial crop that they're you know, in with. Yeah, absolutely. Um, probably more market than we'd expected in terms of the drop off in the weed size and seed return with uh, emergence timing. But definitely the message for this time of year, this beautiful February day, the weeds that you see in the crop right now are the ones that you're targeting. The ones that germinate later and later are less and less of a threat to the crop, less and less of a threat in terms of ongoing seed return. Something that stood out from the data for me was the strong correlation between the seed return from the plant's maturity and the germination timing. What were your thoughts on it? Absolutely. So there's a really nice overall relate, different for different species, but basically the larger the plant, the bigger the plant biomass, more crop competition, um, more seed return and it's a beautiful linear relationship. On the seed return, the four species we had in the trial, what are the key messages for growers that they can take away from this data? We've got these different species uh, developing in response to changes in agronomy. Maybe people are seeing bromes, we're seeing winter and spring wild oats, those two different species with variable germination behaviour. What the trial has shown is that despite changes in species, changes in spring and winter cohorts, farmers still need to really focus on making sure they get the best possible control of those individual weeds which are germinating alongside the crop in the autumn because the seed return and the competitivity drops every single month you come away from that timing. And so to build on that, if for example a product like Axial Pro has been applied to a crop, the growers will be better targeting it at those early germinating weeds and applying earlier rather than waiting for all of them to germinate and emerge and trying to spray all of them at once. Absolutely. So there's a sort of tendency to a natural thought process that you think I've got this weed that germinates through the season. I'll wait until every last individual has emerged and then I'll uh, target my application timing. In fact, we can see quantitatively now that you'd be better off focusing with rates and timings that get good control of those early germinating weeds accepting that the smaller number of later germinating weeds may well come into the field but overall your strategy should be to get that maximum efficacy of early emerging weeds. Looking at the uh, results for the seed return for the four species in the trial, what implications do you think that has for growers for the future of grass weed control? Well a key element of the trial was that we looked at a whole range of grass weed species and that's what we're seeing, we're seeing different species emerging in different contexts and I, th I think that's really important. We need to remember that there's a whole load of different grass weeds we need to manage in the future. We need to not just focus on black grass and that means that, that we need to look at different aspects of weed biology. Some of these other grass weeds like wild oats and bromes and so on have different biological characteristics than black grass. That's 
why there was a big focus on germination timing in this trial. And we want to continue to do that work across different species. So we're repeating the trial this year. Uh, and this year we've added an element of application timings and rates to really complete the whole picture to help growers target these weeds uh, much better. John Cousins there, and we'll catch up with John later in the season to see how this year's trials are progressing. So, what are the implications for axial pro usage this season? First off, target ryegrass and wild oats whilst they are small and actively growing. Prioritise fields with larger overwintered weeds. Ideally control weeds before fertiliser applications. Consider tank mixing with PGRs and other herbicides to save a pass. And finally, optimise application techniques to ensure good coverage and control. So that's all for now. We'll be back here later in the season once the trial's developed. In the meantime, please visit our website for more information.